Are you ready? Hello everyone and welcome to the FGO Recap for March 2021. This month featured two new story events and some smaller campaigns to help players catch up to the main story. So let's quickly get into the events that happened in March. The first of our 2-in-1 events was the Caldea Boys Collection. It's the usual event, packing a summoning campaign and a CE distribution campaign, where masters can pick one of any of the rate-up CEs. I'll be flashing all of them on screen, alongside their effects, right now. The second of the 2-in-1 events was the new story event, An Old Spider Spins Webs of Memory. It was almost purely a story event with the nodes unlocking every day for 5 days. The event did include some farming and an event shop, but it wasn't something that you needed to do, partially because the event only ran for a week. The event did give out a new Spiritron dress for Moriarty, and the command code, Coffin of the Fall which removes debuff immunity from the enemy and increases critical damage against good enemies by 20%. The summoning campaign was a typical Caldea Boys banner. The limited 5-star archer James Moriarty was always on radar, and the entire cast of non-limited male 5-star servants were on a rotating radar. This included story-locked servants. From what I can tell, Valentine's Banners don't have Storylock Servants, but Caldea Boy's Banners do, so make sure to plan accordingly if there's a Storylock Male Servant you want. This was Moriarty's last known raid up, so he'll be gone for at least two years. After this event, there's a main quest campaign that halved all story quests up to Arc 2, excluding 1.5 as per usual. As this video is being recorded, the campaign is still live and will continue until April 29th. Interlude Campaign 8 launched on the 15th and brought interludes for the following servants. Semiramis, Florence Nightingale, Hijikata Toshizo, Yagyu Munenori, Yumei Ren, and Hessian Lobo. Nothing really noteworthy here except for the fact that there was half AP for all interludes for the duration of the event. The final event of this month, and a long-awaited one for many, was Tokugawa Restoration Labyrinth, Oku. This event had a different style of gameplay, where players were mostly restricted to a party of three servants for any story-related node. Players would have to explore different floors of the Oku in order to discover a path forward and find Caldea's missing servants. A little later into the story, Master Skills were replaced with special Inro Skills, with unique effects that were limited to use in the event. On screen, I'll be showing what those effects are. The event also packed three new command codes. The Nun with a Bodhisattva's Merciful Gaze, which increases damage by 20% against good enemies and a further 20% damage increase against rulers. Spear of Love, Action, and Wisdom, which generates two crit stars and deals 20% more damage to charmed enemies, and Faint Black Delusion's Command Seal, which inflicts a 500 damage poison but deals 100 damage to the user. This event's summoning campaign introduced the 5-star limited assassin, Kama, who was on raid up alongside the 4-star lancer, Parvati. Summoning campaign 2 for this event brought back the limited 5-star alter ego, Kiara Sessioin, alongside the 5-star caster, Shahrazad, and the 4-star storylocked saber, Yagyu Munenori. Kama will be available again during the rerun next year, and Kiara will be summonable during next year's New Year's campaign. Shahrazad is permanent, but if you want to specifically summon for her, for some reason, she has a raid up during next year's Valentine's Day campaign. That's all for this month, so let's take a quick sneak peek into what's coming up next month for the NA servers. The first event of April will be our April Fools event, which I will not spoil. 
but we do get 10 free quartz as long as you complete Fuyuki. April then has the 16 million downloads campaign, which has a rate up for the limited 5 star berserker Mysterious Heroine X Alter. This campaign also introduces a new set of master missions that rewards players with 10 free same quartz for every 10 interludes completed. At the time of this campaign release, there will be 180 quartz available from these missions. Next up is the Guda Guda 3 rerun, which brings back the free 4-star welfare rider Sakamoto Ryoma, as well as the limited 5-stars Okita Alter and Hijikata Toshizo. Finally, to close up the month will be this year's crossover event, Lady Ryan's Case Files, which has a pre-event campaign with the 5-star caster Waver on Rada. The actual event gives out the new 4-star welfare assassin Grey, and the summoning campaign has the new limited 5-star rider Sima Yi. That's it for the FGO recap for March 2021. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all at the end of the next month for the next FGO recap. Thank you.